Why are you found, making me have to back up so far? <laughs> we found that um, trying to model division refractions was much harder than addition and subtraction, obviously, and we thought potentially even harder than multiplication. Um, we kind of showed this three different ways. The first way, which I'm going to explain, is just purely the rule that I'm sure we were all taught, flip over and multiply. So we have one-fourth divided by one-half, which it doesn't, <laughs> I feel like it doesn't make sense to talk about flip, well, okay, this is how I learned it, I guess, more. I had one-fourth over one-half like this, and my teacher told me to take this bottom fraction here. Instead of having two fractions within a fraction, flip this over and have one-fourth times two over one, which is, we know is one, which is what we tried to model up here, which gave us, and then when we multiply, we just multiply across the top and across the bottom, two-fourths, simplifies to one-half. So the first way is just kind of the rule of how to do it, and then we start thinking about other ways. The way I was taught, which again is the flip and everything like that, but I did it to each side of the equation. So then this one I know is 2 over 2, which is 1, and then that gets 2 over 4, and that simplifies to 1 half. And then, um, yeah, and then we got, came up, well, what if we confusing. confusing for students? Maybe they're thinking, well, what if it's 2 times this huge answer? So the answer has to be 2 times the answer. And I was like, oh, well, that's inconvenience. So it was just another way we thought of it. Um, and that the students might think of it that way. Yeah, like also. if they were looking at that, it looks like you're multiplying each part by two, so one of this be two times that. And then our third way of thinking about it was if we rewrote it so it would be a multiplication problem. So you would, fourth is one half times what, and you'd be solving for the other piece. Like if you have 15 divided by five, and then you multiply both sides by five, then it's 15 equals five times x. So you're like solving for the missing piece. So we didn't really have a reasoning. We were trying to think of different ways to show division with fractions, I guess. What was your justification for number two? What do you mean? Like, why can we do that? Because it, I like flipping to both sides. I, this is just how I was taught, was to flip it and apply it to both sides, and then this just equals 1. So it's just like 1 divided by this number. And but I feel like if you don't have an equal sign, you can't do it Right, because you're not multiplying to both sides of the equation, because right. there's no equation there. Which, really what you're doing is you're multiplying both by 2 and using the distributive property. Yeah. So then that's why we brought this up. Yeah, that it could be confusing for students because they may interpret it as being that. Yeah, no, that's, what, that's what we thought of too. Like, yeah, you're multiplying this by 2 and this by 2, so it's 2 over 2, which is 1. Yeah, that's why we did this, because it's not as confused. That's just how I do it. 